So this one's old school, but I love this one. It's really a neat model of the intestinal wall. So I want you to keep in mind a couple things. When we look at this structure here, again, this is the wall of the intestine. This is deep and this is superficial. What do I mean by that? Well, if you think of your intestines like a garden hose, all right, and you are looking through the garden hose, you are looking through the lumen of the garden hose. That lumen where food passes through is where my pointer is going to be passing through right here. And the wall here, the intestinal wall, would be like measuring from inside to out. We say deep to superficial. That's deep to superficial. Okay, so with that in mind, we have several layers here. We have the mucosa. We have the muscularis mucosae. Then we have the submucosa. Then we have the muscularis externa. And way down here, remember this is the most superficial layer, we have the serosa. If we look at these structures here individually, these are what we call villi. Villi are kind of like the little finger-like projections that help to increase surface area. On this side, you can probably see a little bit better the capillaries that we have here, blood capillaries that are here. There are lacteals that run through each of these villi. We have intestinal glands that you can see in this mucosa layer. And also, another structure you can see, put this on a slight angle here, this has been sectioned off. This is a lymphoid nodule. This is a lymphoid nodule, sometimes called a payer's patch. We have submucosal arteries in red. We have submucosal veins in blue. Uh, and if you look right here, this is what we call the circular layer of smooth muscle. So what do I mean by circular? Well, if my fingers are coming at you like this, in the same way that these structures are here, this would be like my fingertips. And I say circular because, remember, the tube is going around like this. This is your, this is your garden hose. Okay, again, the lumen is here. The food stuff would be passing through the lumen. But this layer here would be going in a circular layer around the garden hose, as if you grabbed a garden hose like this. Now, if your fingers were going lengthwise with the garden hose, that's what you're seeing here. These are the longitudinal layers of smooth muscle. This right here is the longitudinal layer of smooth muscle. So here, if I show you this, my fingers would be running this way, lengthwise. That's why, again, they would all be cut off here because they're coming this way as opposed to the circular layer where they would be cut here as they go around. Another couple structures you'll see here are in green, the lymphatic vessels. You can see lymphatic vessels running through here. You can also see the myenteric plexus in white the myenteric plexus. That's part of the nervous system that runs through your enteric system, your digestive system. We call this the myenteric plexus. It's the web, so to speak, of nerve supply that runs through there. Mm -hmm.